All right, guys, welcome back. Strong Fit Podcast. We're back again. So uh, we are joined by... How many? Uh, no, 20. This, no, no. This is like 30. 30? No, no, no. Like 35, 37. Oh, wow. Really? I think I was. I think we were filmed up to 32, 33 the last months? time we were here. Yeah. We were past six months? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Fast. How many do you do a month? A lot. Four. So yeah, we do one, a week, week. one a week really? usually. We've only so missed two weeks. So when we're weeks. here, we just record like five, six, seven in a row, and then we really sit. Okay. Yeah, so we do one a day. Wow. So the first one is weird because we haven't done anything in like three months. We're not sure if we still know <laughs> each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then by the second one, we get kicked back in gear, and then, then it's all. Because we'll, right. we'll go like a month where we're only communicating via like... Yeah, text messages. Text messages. Yeah. yeah. So you're like, can we still do this? Are we capable <laughs> yeah. of this? And then by the six, we're really tired, so then the quality starts to go down. So yeah. Like, yeah. Let's take a break. Yeah. 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 So where are we at we're right like now? A couple, <laughs> like a couple. Do we still we're at the end of the road. So yeah. After this one, we rest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's the best day after this one. You guys, you guys are getting an exhaustment. Exactly. Exhausting. Yeah. Exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so but we're also at the end of <laughs> we're yeah. at the end of our, of our month. month as well. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. There we'll we go. Be tired, so well, yeah. let's, let's, let's have coffee. <laughs> let's maybe start with that. So uh, we're joined with uh, Lou and Chantel. It's Lou and Chantel from uh, Camp Seventeen out of Oregon. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Yes. Medford, 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 Oregon. Oregon. Medford, Oregon. Yeah. Um, but you guys are actually here in Utrecht for the apprenticeship month, the first yes. month-long intensive. Yep. yep. Yes. That's like it would say it's the deepest dive into the strong fit <laughs> universe you could ask for, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, because I get to yeah I get to see firsthand for more than a few days, so that actually makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. I was really happy. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's the end of the month, so it's it was a lot. Yeah. Of stuff. It's the end of the month. Everybody. Yeah. So I've been here for you, thirty-two days or something. You get to see the the blind spots better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was the point. So yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah. It was yeah. really good. So. You guys run a program where you guys coach exclusively women, mm -hmm. correct? And it's a little more than I would say just a fitness, fitness thing. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's uh, not, how did that stop? Did yeah. you always aim to have just women or do you just happen? Um, I think, yeah, it just, it kind of, we, we based it on a lot of experience that we had, you mm -hmm. know, with obviously fitness, but then also with just who we would work with and we saw where things were and we obviously have authority because we're women and so we're like yeah. okay that's so you knew you, your color right away it's like that's what i want to do pretty yeah. much i mean and as a woman too and having seen the struggles of women and you know your own struggles to mm -hmm. be able to uh as we talk about the whole person going and doing this with a, a bunch of dudes would probably be <laughs> No, it but would like, be you know, so different a, because a lot it was. Of coaches don't know what they want. You've seen that, yeah. Right yeah. by now, even on the mentoring mm -hmm. program, a lot of the answers has mm -hmm. to be, "Dude, what do you want?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good question. Yeah. You see how long it takes for people to find their color and actually yeah. truly know where they want to push. Even if yeah. it's obvious, it doesn't mean yeah. you're like, "Dude, come on!" Like that's yeah. what you. Uh, so yeah. it's yeah, that's yeah. always good that you. Um, that you we immediately knew. Yeah. Right, so people, because for the people that don't know you, you had one of the earliest CrossFit. Gyms in the world. Yeah, 2006. 2006. It was like the second OG. one in Oregon. Yeah, a <laughs> long time yeah. ago. Yeah, exactly. A long time yeah. ago. <laughs> Two or six for CrossFit, I guess that's yeah. a long time. And it's still yeah. open. Uh, my friends now like own it. And in the world or whatever. I don't even. I don't, yeah. I don't even. I, you can't tell anymore now because the you know where the list is. There's They're been so closed. many that have gone out of yeah. business that you're like, oh, getting closer and closer We're to the top. second. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, that stayed open. You might be one of the oldest. Yeah. But you got out of that one. Yeah. You got to you a bit. In 2012. What was it? Yes, too much? It. Um, it's good for people it to was know. For, for me, uh, I needed to, I wanted to be better for people, but I had to be better for myself. And mm -hmm. there was that moment of looking in the mirror and saying, there's a woman inside of me and she's dying to get out, but mm -hmm. I have no idea who she is uh, and how to get, yeah. And mm -hmm. what that even looks like and trying to help people while I was trying to Help learn yourself. about myself <laughs> this was about 10 or 11 years ago that was it was just too much and mm -hmm. it got to um yeah it just got to be it's, it's a important. lot it's like yeah. i think people understand for example like being an athlete and a coach like man it's a different mindset yeah it's not that easy to switch it's actually almost impossible so yeah. it's good so you get out of, out of the crossfit and then you get the two of you start camp 17 when 2015. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. three. Yeah. So it's been four and a half four years. years yeah. yeah. We became best friends like instantaneously. 
I tried to tackle her after I found out she was a six degree black belt. And uh, like, how long would it take for her to tap me out? I know nothing about anything. So that's what goes through your head. Okay. <laughs> sure. There you go. Like, uh, I, I just wonder. Hey, Let's you know, know that. Well, yeah, like I can on. tell you that from your side. You're like, yeah. nah. Yeah. No. no, you can't do it. Like, two minutes? Nah. No, no, no. Let's no, no. no it was more like probably uh, yeah. 30. Yeah. That was really what it did. Yeah. No. And I surprised her after a really Go horrible now. workout. <laughs> yeah. It, and I knew it'd probably be 10, 20 seconds. It was about 20 seconds. And I had this move in mind. And I had no idea yeah. how to execute it. Yeah. And it was hilarious. Yeah. And we've been best friends ever since. So yeah. it was hilarious. And in her world, she would tell you, like, people don't do that because nope. they, no. you she's a legend. Asking. She's <laughs> yeah. really you respected. No, you yeah. <laughs> like, you do, oh, you that in Jiu-Jitsu? would be like, sure. Yeah. It's not going to last 20 seconds. It's going to last 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll teach you in the most uncomfortable yeah. We don't want to do fast. For 20 <laughs> minutes <laughs> before I tap you and you never, uh, ever look at me in the eyes ever. Yeah. Again. I'll yeah. sure. <laughs> Every time you're like, hi, Julian, how are you? I'm like, yeah, keep looking down. Uh, <laughs> no, well, it does not go well. She actually thought it was funny uh, and that I wasn't like, oh, like, I, yeah. And well, yeah, then friends. 20 seconds. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It was funny. It was yeah. really good. But yeah, we started after that. We just. So from the beginning, women, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did from you talk about it or just. Did you like had a power and a meeting and you go like, we're going to. Or it was just like this is naturally where this is taking us. Okay, cool. I think it was it was just a natural natural flow to what yeah. we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and or like it, it just with with starting in a CrossFit gym, having classes so, with men and women. So did you? Okay, so then do you mm -hmm. go like we're gonna do a women only class in the gym, or is just that women just showed up? Did you? Did no, you, we made it. Camps? We made it women only. All right. Yeah. So it started as a class or as a camp. Um, just as a as, camp. as a camp, six yeah. Weeks. So six weeks. Oh, so, so six from weeks, the beginning twice was a week. six yes. weeks, twice a week camp, mm -hmm. women only. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, okay, okay. Yep. okay. Yeah. And speaking to the heart of a woman, because we're not just talking about. Hey, what was the point yeah. of the six week camp? What? It was talk about your heart and your mind reconnecting you to your body and understanding so that the, uh, you're no longer separated. The goal as like was a, that by the end of the you know more about yourself by the end of the six mm -hmm. weeks. Yes. yes. Way so. more aware of who you are. You can do hard things. The problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was a topic the problem of being in a in a gym because that's male driven, right? It goes fly high. There's a lot of testosterone in gym. Did you have to, you know, in a women only group? I'm curious. Did you ever broach an aspect? Say, ladies, let me explain to you how to survive in a gym. <laughs> All the midheads over there, they have no fucking clue how to deal yeah. with you. Let me explain to you how you move around those fucking apes yeah. over there. And <laughs> the loudest one, do yeah. not listen to the loudest exactly. one. Yeah, yeah. So don't think they're Turn sexist, around, they're just assholes. There's a difference. They yeah. like that to everybody, not yeah. just women. Don't worry they're about it. They're not all like that. Yes, exactly. There's like some that. good ones too. They're just not as loud as the bad ones. Yeah. 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 Yeah, was that part of uh, the, one of the courses of the yeah. camp? I, it, it, like, I think any woman, like especially when we, because we weren't, uh, like advertising to like women just that, that were fit yeah. like it was every woman and so we would have moms or people who were overweight who'd never been in a gym before they were like or I scared to come in yeah, yeah. Well, I just, guys are I scared too by the way yeah, yeah. totally and I, I'm not comfortable in global gyms yeah so they, they just said you know is there going to be other people in the room is there going to be people doing CrossFit and so we were we had the class time where there was no other people in there and then we had another class where they did it at the same time and that was definitely something that we had to talk about we were like they're looking they're looking at me they're looking and it's like okay uh, no, okay, we, I, no, okay we need to talk about we it need to talk that, about that's this. where okay all right yeah. so because guys don't understand any of this we need to talk about this so most of the women were like those guys are looking at us while we train Mm -hmm. But we're looking women, down you know, on us, like oh, that we're not doing. Women for you right there. Yeah, exactly. Like they're yeah. not just looking, <laughs> yeah. looking down at yes. us. Yes. Well, the guys yes. are just like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, have you seen guys? Come on, remember when you're eight years old? Like there's nothing going through. There's nothing going on. No, they went like this. I mean, literally, I got the head butted in the in the nuts going to get my daughter at school. All five year olds running, and one of the boys, boom, and I'm like, dude, really? I'm right in front of you, like yeah. Oh, sorry. And then they went, that's basically so. No, they're not fucking like you're giving us way too much credit. Uh, that's yeah. that's true. They don't go and go like, oh, look at her form. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But think, when you're, oh yeah, go ahead. I think that there's like even just culture. I think that's one of been one of the coolest things that we've been doing with yeah. this. That you know, women they get introduced to themselves 
their weaknesses, their insecurities, even their projection on other people. Like, yeah. oh, he's looking at me. Oh, he doesn't really Because that's care. the main thing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or even women. Oh, she's judging me. Yeah. Or, oh, she's, you know, Sorry. like. Or she's doing more work than me. Like, that's true. That's what yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> it's But you're so in a CrossFit true. gym and they're doing pull-ups and the ladies are like, I'll probably never be able to do that. And you're like, no. That, but, like, well, that's already a problem. Why right? can't yeah. we? Yeah. 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 That, that, but see, that's where male cultures. That's why I want to talk about this because male yeah. cultures run into so much problem because a woman that says that, a male coach already does not know what to answer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. Like, but she's a game athlete. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't what, know how long she's been here. Who, yeah, but it's like, who cares anyway? Yeah. Like, that's that's true, by the way. So yeah. now you start to say, yeah, that's true. The woman's like, oh, how dare you? So the guy's like, <laughs> what do I say? Shit, like, I was agreeing with you. Like, I'm yeah. not supposed to agree with you. The woman's like, what are you saying now? Ah! And then the guy's gone. <laughs> and I was like, What do I do? What do I, I got do? scolded by, uh, I feel like my mom just slapped me. <laughs> and that's male cultures dealing with women. So that's why that's going to be a good podcast. Yeah. So let's go at this. Uh, yeah. All right. So I want to know so how do you approach it? Gosh, I mean, we we really did like, okay, let's, let's shift. Like, we talk about like why they're there. Not, yeah. Let's talk about why you're there and why, not stop. why yeah. you're not there, yeah. or why why you weren't you haven't been here for the last twenty years, or why you know what what you feel like is going to go wrong, or let's let's stop talking about what's going on on the outside and let's actually talk about what's going on with you. And this is why yeah. 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 you're in the same places in your life is because you choose not to go to the gym because of all these reasons. You choose not to do this because of Usually all these it's reasons. gonna be yeah. on other stuff as yeah. well, right? If yeah. they start to look down on themselves like that, that means totally. they're going everywhere else. And and being able to uh, to help them realize, oh, if I'm actually paying attention to what I'm doing, I cannot worry about what other people are doing either. And then people are like, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why I'm so distracted because I'm yeah. looking around at what everybody else is doing and so I have no clue. So being able to help them just see, well, if you want to be able to do this for yourself, you actually have to pay attention to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so bringing awareness to awareness. Yeah. Uh, and then those things start to fall away, but also being able to create a safe enough space that, because for some women it's not necessarily only uh, it's not just the men. For a lot of women, most women are scared to come into um, groups of women because mm -hmm. women can be catty bitches. Yeah. And I can't say it. So yeah, 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 exactly. I, I, I know, right? Was the, was like, the, that was the ground term that was floating in my yeah. head. No, but you're like, like, I'm giving a straight face because yeah. I, I am not agreeing <laughs> I'm not with any other one. one. I'm going to yeah. stay yeah. like this way. Like, really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I've never thought of it like that. It's so true. So day one, we basically say, look, this is a safe space we've created. Please respect it. If you're not safe, you create less of a safe space. And so um, let's just all realize that if you want to be a catty bitch, this place is probably not going to work for you. Mm -hmm. For you, we, we won't ask you to leave. But it's so cold in but here. But you all know you want to be safe, anyways. Yeah. Did, so. you, did, you, did you enforce it? Sorry, like from a male perspective, this is mm -hmm. so foreign. I need to. Did you enforce it? We didn't have to. Fuck. That was How? just a crazy okay. okay. no, that's, okay. that's Let's crazy. start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. My job at John Machado was being an enforcer. Where it's going to be like, you're going to do that. I'm going to fucking destroy you for 20 minutes. And that's, yeah. that's just the way it works. So what do you mean you didn't have to enforce it so how do you get to that point you're just going to tell me like all you say is like we should have a safe place yeah. and that was it all you had to say <laughs> no we didn't, we didn't no say cute yeah it, like it's actually it's it's really interesting because you look at it and it, so they start yeah. we start the group starts we say that this is where we're going we are looking at ourselves we're looking at our behavior our ourselves we're being introduced to what we like about ourselves what we don't know about ourselves and maybe what we just we we want for ourselves like we're mm -hmm. going to experience the whole thing but also just addressing that like when someone is mean and unkind most of the time it has nothing to do with you that's it has true. everything to do with them. Yes. And so then all of a sudden, so then they're like, the, oh, all, all like the, the typical like <laughs> catty bitches in the room. Yeah. They're like, oh shit! Like when I when I am yeah, when, I do when that, I'm unkind, like they're gonna know something is going on inside of me, you know. So immediately there's like this response because we have 40 women sitting in a room all together, and the majority you have at least a handful that are known to be I like... I do I know. Yeah, where you're <laughs> like, women, okay. just in general for humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just There's in general. One. There's always going to be... There's always one. Yeah. Yeah. Mean girls are going to sleep their way. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then, so then when you when you look at that, then they actually, they're like, wow, so might be... And some of them are oblivious. Some, they'll still be, uh, you know, loud and sharp, or they'll be like, huh, and you'll just, you just 
people just end up being... So you, okay, but you don't enforce it. You let it go, mm-hmm. and right. then you wait for the group to mm-hmm. basically fix itself. Or yeah. we'll address it as a group. We'll be like, okay, so this just happened. This oh, just happened. I saw this up. happen. We're like, what? what's going on? You, and they're point all, the, you don't point the figure. Don't you, point just, the, nope. you just say it. Because yeah. they know. Yeah. They know. Or somebody's like, oh, like, I beat so-and-so. And then we'll, like, stop everything. We'll say, like, okay, what's going on? Like... What's 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 happening? And they're all like, Bleh. and it's not that. So you're holding them accountable kids, to yeah. their own action immediately. Yeah. Immediately. immediately, 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 right away. But I think one of the coolest things, because we've been obviously we've been doing this for four and a half years, yeah, so you know, and we've yeah. been uh, in the mentorship with Strong Credit for mm-hmm. a year and a half, and so there was a lot of things that we were doing that worked really well. Um, but we didn't necessarily understand why, why they were all mm-hmm. working really well. And so I think one of the coolest things we've been able to um, address in this moment that's very simple, um, even talking about, because we'll talk about the polyvagal theory in mm-hmm. our conversation about belonging and finding a place where we know our people, like we use it there. Sure, yeah. But at the beginning, we'll just be able to say, look, here, here's what actually happens in you when you don't feel safe. You're either going to get very aggressive or you're going to withdraw. And so some of you walked into a room, uh, into the room, and you were like making up all the the very unkind stories in your head, or some of you were standing on the outsides of the room making up stories as to why other people weren't talking to you. And so then you all are not talking to each other. So then what is happening? And everybody's like, uh, nothing. And so then you exactly. you're able to yeah. present it in a way that you're you just you actually don't feel safe and in you not feeling safe or comfortable and or secure in your own skin this is how you act and then they can stop and go oh i was totally the one on the outside of the room making up the stories and oh my gosh i was totally the one that was you know putting down that that lady over there who shouldn't be wearing those pants (laughs) you know because you can see her cellulite and and so you just get to sort of give them Give them There's the some truth. There's truth. <laughs> no, it is true. Yeah, it's just, true. I never say that now. That's yeah. all. I'm, I'm laughing and saying like, yeah, I've seen a few. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Which is why we work with women because we can say that out loud, right? If we were to do this for men, like it wouldn't work as well as if you, you doing this yeah, with we men. Don't do this the same. Right? Yeah. yeah. No. And you can't. It no, couldn't even look the same. No, men have to them on the nose. So yeah, it's it got to look sh- totally different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I think that's an interesting thing is that for for the way you guys get buy-in, if you will, mm-hmm. or uh, what's the word? Cooperation isn't the word I'm looking for, but yeah. that's kind of what it means. Yeah. We you, offer you an invitation. To fall in line, Tyler, if you this will. entire podcast is a landmine. <laughs> right? Just I know. step so, tread lightly. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm, so is, is a, it does, you guys take a very uh, educational approach. Mm-hmm. And right? straightforward. It's straightforward. It's, it's right away. In a way, actually, with which I don't know that I could, maybe I, it's just that I couldn't, mm-hmm. but I, I don't know that I could teach a group of men for uh, in a fitness capacity, mm-hmm. even in the way that you guys go no. through, and you spell all of this no out. But but that goes back to you know, the way. thing you had mm-hmm. said a while, maybe a year or two ago, right. about even the just fundamentally about teaching women versus mm-hmm. men is that women always need to know the why and mm-hmm. the reasoning behind everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And 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 I think that's the thing that you guys do is it's not just the reason behind this exercise and this mm-hmm. movement. It's you're going to feel this way, and here is all mm-hmm. of the reasoning behind. I think it. men need mm-hmm. to, but men need it after. Yes. Men yep. need to fuck up first, and then you can tell them why they fuck mm-hmm. up. Yeah. Women need to know before they fuck up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're smarter in that aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Men, you have to let them fuck up first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they won't listen. Like if they don't. But by the way, I still think the best way for men to learn is to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Women, you can tell them before they actually yeah. listen. Men, yeah. 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 But that for many reasons. Yeah. We're not going to go into that. Yeah. But I think but it's, it's necessary. But I think that amount of background, like just like you said, where you you have a basic situation where it's like, hey, don't be shitty to these people in here. Mm-hmm. But instead, what you do is. All right, if you don't feel safe, this is how you're going to respond. Mm-hmm. So this is why you might feel inclined to be shitty yeah. to someone in here. So now that you know, yeah. fucking don't do it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that seems to dismiss approach. it much better. I know, and it's mm-hmm. such a different yeah. approach. It's much less heavy-handed than my approach. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fucking knock it off. What's wrong yeah. with yeah. 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 I'd be just looking at them with the big eyes and look like, do that again. Try yeah. 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 You know, I dare you, I double dare yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Say what one more yeah. time? Yeah. Yeah. That's how we yeah. deal yeah. with men. And it, so. it, sometimes it, it, start, it gets difficult because you'll have someone who, like immediately, like we can see like past the behavior. You know, we'll see past it. We'll see like you are saying something about them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. but they are behaving outside of the gym too. Mm-hmm. Yes. So now they must go right. like, wait, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. How dare you? Because yeah. what we will say is, we'll watch you train and see how you do the rest of your life, and then you can see everybody go, 
They have we to be judged. You think? Yeah. I can't say half that shit, and I know the one downstairs will be like, you're judging me. <laughs> and so, But there's so many women that are there because they want to grow, they want to learn. Some are there, and they have no idea why they actually, we what they signed two, up for. Like, get those two, yeah. yeah. Okay, so or their friend to told them, but their friend didn't tell them everything <laughs> because they knew they wouldn't come, right? Yeah. The first hour must be awesome. Yeah. I would like to be a fly yeah. on It's it really yeah. incredible. But then it we'll also incredible. say, like, this is something that, we've said from the very beginning because I think it's really important. Um, and I, I think it's really important having come from like, I'm, I was the type of athlete that I will, I will kill myself for everyone mm -hmm. and then get back up and bleed and then get, go, I, I'll, 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 I'll yeah. mm -hmm. keep doing this no matter what. Um, but so often I learned that it was out of the fear of just being humiliated. And so, coming and finding a finding a, a a softer part of my own heart as a coach we can now present to them and i can say to them my my goal is not to humiliate you here and everybody's like okay good right because so many women pe was humiliating mm -hmm. the rope climb was humiliating the arm hang was humiliating the mile run was humiliating mm -hmm. and you can look back is that how they saw it yes well, for most yeah. of them we need to reset you know or men, the men need to learn all this or yeah. even just the simple <laughs> like i i got picked last in pe so since i got picked last i'm not athletic so why would i do fitness mm -hmm. like even one of the ladies yesterday um over in uh hardenberg she's she's a very creative woman and she said I always got picked last in PE so I've never thought of myself as athletic and so I never did exercise she's like I walked my dog and you're like and I said yeah but it never challenged you she said no and, and that was defined by the fact that that's so she is because she yes was picked last because she was she is, so that, right like the dumb kid yeah. that doesn't do well in the school system is the dumb kid and you're like yeah. no the dumb that yeah. dumb kid is an inventor of so many things yeah. that didn't work like that so then you don't fit into PE and you couldn't do the rope climb and the flexed arm hang and run a mile and do a lot of sit-ups yeah, or touch you your toes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you never trained for it. Exactly. So, that's yeah. what you're in the so place, then, so. but that is the, as children, that is your defined as an, as an athlete or a fitness person or not. So, so, yeah. so as a, as, as a male coach, how does one avoid make when you're making, when you need more from somebody or you need better from somebody, you need to make corrections in what yeah. they're doing or the way they're, simply moving or even behaving how does one do that without re-aggravating mm -hmm. that thing right mm -hmm. how, how is that possible and how can that be done as a male coach as well because I think you guys do have a an uncanny knack of just getting trust mm -hmm. from women specifically <laughs> guys don't in a way that Julian and I probably are not going to get at least upon a first impression yeah, yeah. right what are so, you saying? Mm -hmm. That's because you look like Shrek doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. 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 What are you saying? You now have a big old tattoo yeah. on your head. Exactly. So. <laughs> like, oh, wait for that one. You wait until yeah. he gets to all the action. Even better. Uh. So, so, so how can a how can a, can a male coach in coaching females be cognizant of that, of that trap that I may be making a correction to someone who now it's like, well, now I just don't fit in anywhere. Mm -hmm. Now there's I can't do this. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, do we ex you guys expect less out of us so we can get away with more? <laughs> yeah, she's laughing. So that's probably the answer. That's true. Maybe gloss it over. Like, they're guys. It's okay. It's we don't okay. expect much. It's okay. I think there's something that uh, that we we also address is that um, you know when we look at or when even when men look at our program or even other women look at our program and they see it and they say um, this is a this is a women's empowerment movement or this is something where it's like women women for women and mm -hmm. this and there's there is <laughs> no women is on the way where I think no. that it's important to um, and and even on the male side of it is that to really look at like as women like we need men mm -hmm. and as men you need women mm -hmm. and so it's when you feel like a, a, a man is not trying to make you behave or act like him or like, like you yeah. like a man so would you expect would you trust a male cultures that seems to know a little bit more about women in general, like if, yes. if she seems to understand how women work, yeah. mm -hmm. then that will greater, uh, create a greater trust. Yes. Yes. So, and that has nothing to do with power cleans and shit like that. No. Yeah. Is you going to want to know that he can behave with the women a certain mm -hmm. way and that he understand the women's psyche more yes. than just like, my goal is not to humiliate like you and my goal is not to hurt you. 
right? That's, I think that's yeah. two. That's two very important things that, yeah. that you need to. I think as a, any coach, I think you need to find a way to put that out there right away. Mm -hmm. I think if you yeah. can if you can get them to believe those two things, mm -hmm. um, then you can have a lot of space to work yeah, with going because, forward. Because mm -hmm. you can always pull yeah. back to that. Then mm -hmm. you know, in training and coaching, things are going to get weird if you're doing it right. You know, yeah, because like and you can always say, yeah. "Listen, I, I promise." I'm not here to humiliate you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. an important part because God knows I've said that. It's like, yeah. look, I am here to humiliate you. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally said that. Like yeah. when I work yeah. on Saturday, I'm here so that you're on the ground, yeah, this one, yeah. Like, this asking one for is your mom. Hurt. And I'll take a selfie and put it on Facebook and yeah. on live going like this. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. So there's a. But there's a certain, approach, I mean, there's a, there like. I make it funny, so it's okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> testosterone is a. a it's a different thing. Totally like different. it's so different. Yeah. And so the way that you speak to that as a man is different. Like even us as women trying to, you know, yell at some guy to go faster, it doesn't even, it feels weird. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Yeah, because he, he looks it, aggressive. Yeah. Well, yeah. Plus, I think, we'll talk about this, but yeah. like the way women coach men is also wrong because you don't mm -hmm. understand. It's like, yeah, yeah, when she trash talks, she's so bad at trash talking. Yeah. A lot of women are so bad at it. There's a few good ones. Most of the time, you guys just come off so aggressive. Yeah. Like when you trash talk, no, you can do it. Just yeah. make it funny though. Yeah. yeah. You have to be fucking funny. Yeah. So you're going to have to be twice as funny because you're women. I'm not saying it's fair. I just like, you yeah, better be fucking true. funny because otherwise it comes out as so aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's horrible yeah. at it. <laughs> Yeah. Every time I'm like, no, that is not how you do it. Like, she told you, did I tell you the story? Like, when we are unscaled, and then there's that Olympic weightlifter, so not conditioning is not his thing, right? He's basically he dropped the bag and everything, and Yaya carrying a bag back and forth, passes in front of him, goes, he's like, pick it up, bitch. And she kept walking. The guy wrote a blog post about it. He like, he got, yeah, crushed his soul for like four days. Like, I got a tour by a 12 year old. To yeah. pick up the bad bitch. Yeah. Like he was like, oh my god, that was one of the don't. It yeah. just crushed oh, yeah, girl. It doesn't, yeah, especially, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you can totally see her doing that. Going yeah. like, hey, you know, with the face and uh -huh. like, oh, I was yeah. like, honey, we need, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Like, we need to talk about your skills. Oh, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. What I and, think it's funny to note too is that as, as men, like aggression <clears throat> and confrontation is actually a pretty constructive tool in how we communicate and solve mm -hmm. problems. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Julian and I can be working on something and it, it'll get there and it's going to be no, no, no. And it's, we have trust boom. already though. Exactly. That's the yeah. thing. We have exactly. trust already. So maybe that's what male coaches have to understand is you mm -hmm. have to establish trust a lot more first. Yeah. Yeah. We think trust comes as results arrive. Mm -hmm. For men, you start to say, look, we make it work good. So you trust me now, good. And then we yeah. move on. So there's that gray area where we're like, dude, suck it up. Yeah. 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 Or I'll smack you on the nose. Yeah. And it is hard so because so it seems to be very different for women. And like you yeah. can't you you really can't walk in and earn somebody's trust by saying those words either. I do think the trust is <laughs> yeah. a step that <laughs> someone has to choose to take yeah. when they're ready to take it. Yeah. yeah. I've I, I was taught for, at a at a young age that uh, I had a coach who said this. He said they don't say trust isn't earned. Yeah. Anyone who says that's a fucking lie. Mm -hmm. uh, mistrust is earned. Yeah. Trust is a step that's about it's given. It's it's just given. You have to be vulnerable to trust somebody, mm -hmm. and then if they fuck it, they fuck up. Then, then you have every reason to not trust them. Mm -hmm. But, but um, you guys seem like a, do a very good job getting people to take that first step yeah. in mm -hmm. trusting. But well, Chantel, yeah. Big one, like yeah. That. Well, and Chantel always says this is she always tells people trust is an investment of yourself, mm -hmm. right? And so if I'm if I'm investing myself in you. That's different than I'm here to get your money, make sure you get through the program, you keep coming to class, you know. But just like simply, I I I want you to get better, I want you to grow, you know. Which sound like, you know, you, they, they don't. It doesn't have to be all of those statements. But they sound can, like daily calendar sayings. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all like Facebook. Yeah, yeah. 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 But can yeah. you create an? Can you can you create a gym, a facility, a space where when people come in, they feel seen? known on the level that they want to be seen and known on because some mm -hmm. people don't want to be really seen and really known. No, but that is yeah. as well. Right? Like exactly. Yeah, yeah. But like I am not you. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I, I'm, I'm creating a space where I don't want you to feel like you have to hide because hiding feels safer than you being seen. I think seen. humiliation is the biggest thing because I think male coaches have no clue that's what goes through a woman's yeah. head when she's training. Yeah. Am I going to be humiliated in front yeah. of everyone? That goes back to the social mm -hmm. setting of women and everything. Guys yeah. have... Most coaches I've seen have no clue. Because yeah. mm -hmm. the worse you look, to us, the best you did. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when we consider what training to be is this yeah. this long, long road of mistakes and corrections mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. figuring things out. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of a lot of like female clients that I've coached don't 
the, the mistakes are traumatic. Yes. Any mistakes, mm -hmm. just just more. simply doing yeah. something incorrectly even yeah. is mm -hmm. is is like more damning it seems to yeah. them. Than that's, a, that's a, actually they're that's a wrong. They didn't do something wrong. Their yeah. whole yeah, it's like no, yeah, we're just, person it's is like wrong. Wrongness that's, is that, a thing. That's, that's a very good point. So here. how do you yeah. guys deal with that? Because women seem to take it a lot after. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, like making a mistake suddenly is yeah is them as a person. Yes. So it's, I mean, it's going to go back to the world and everything. Mm -hmm. But so mm -hmm. is that what you established from the beginning? Yes. Like it's okay to make mistakes. Yes. It's not you. Mm -hmm. yes. You just fucked up. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Yeah. You're not humiliated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all good. It's and the conversation. Ask questions too. Like yeah. ask ask them questions, not in a way of like of trying to get them to where you want them to go, but really like ask them questions when something happens, because the even the question is okay. I want to know, and so like if I'm struggling, right. I I. Like it, and it's and you can find like the cycles of the ones that are like oh like if I ask too many questions or if I you know then then it's just going to end up being like this one on one session when I'm coaching a class and that yeah. just can't happen. Yeah. Um, but you know to to really like to let them know that you see that something's going on is really important. Okay, because if I ask a woman how do you feel, <laughs> the answer I get usually is what are you saying? Uh, yeah, literally, I ask her, do you want to go out? She's like, well, you think I need to talk to you? Yeah. Is that, do you think something is wrong with me? Is that, are you saying something? <laughs> oh, like, shoot. is that like, we need to, I, I come no. on, that's most women. If, somebody's, if yeah. somebody says, hey, can we chat? The first thing, like, hey, can we talk later today? My first thing is, oh, what did I do wrong? Yeah. I know, you what know what I, I thought? It's like, no, it's not about you. I want a drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Screw you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, on yeah. your, go back on your high horse and then I'll meet you over there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, we can both but, go on our high horse and uh, but it's I'm not really like, like, for you to come we, down. Can we no, talk? I mean? I'm like, oh, can we go get something to eat? Yeah. Yeah. Can we, like, you know, like, what are we going to do together? Like, yeah. it's like, <laughs> but when you've raised... That's what we're shooting for. That's not what I got. Totally, but when you've been raised, you're not making mistakes. It's not always that simple. Okay, so true yeah. but under being able to understand and see women who do function like that and be have the realization to to see that again to be able to see people and see where they're at instead of it just being about the clean or about the jerk or about mm -hmm. the pull up and or I whatever think don't flinch as a man yeah. i heard carla say many times i much rather see you be sure than right mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. so that seems to be like guys will not understand that like mm -hmm. don't flinch yeah. Like when she say, oh, are you saying something? Don't start to go like this because yeah. then she's going to believe you, she yeah. caught you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't flinch. Be sure. And you don't have to be right. Just yeah. be sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it works better. Yeah. Right? Welcome to having experience. Yeah, yeah that, but that's okay. But those are the stuff, honestly, male coaches need to know mm -hmm. because they're facing situations. You know, when they start to go like mm -hmm. this, like mm -hmm. a deer in a headlight mm -hmm. and they start to back off, I'm like, good, let me help you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is a big one. It it is. Is. And for women coaching men, don't just tell them what they're doing wrong all the time. That doesn't help. Oh, okay. So it's the yeah. other way. You're going to have yeah. to let men fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Okay, so, you know, like, men, they goes like, that's the workout, we go. All the guys, right, they're not even here because they're already gone. Because mm -hmm. they never, yeah. didn't listen mm -hmm. yeah. in the first place. Yeah. They're already warming They don't even know where the workout is. They're already warming up and probably putting too much weight. And they're already getting tired and mm -hmm. fucking things up anyway. Yeah. Then you go talk to them. Women are like... You didn't say what the workout was. Yeah. You didn't explain it properly. And guys are like, it's push-ups and pull-ups. Yes, but how will I do mm -hmm. the push-up? And, yeah. and then guys are like, oh, why don't you just fucking do push-ups What color is the dragon? And then, yeah, we're going to talk about it, right? And, yep, and yep. so, but, but women is the opposite. So, yeah, that's, okay, so for people I don't know, uh, I was making, uh, I was explaining the difference between men and women in a seminar, and I used the dragon story. Like, so the dra you know, the knight comes, kills the dragon to get the girl. Most guys are like, okay, I like it, it's A to B to C, this causality. You kill a dragon, you get the girl, everybody's happy at the end. And women are like, wait, what color is a dragon? <laughs> First of all, is it a male or a female? So the dragon was there, and the, and the women grew up in the tower. So does that mean she knows the dragon? By the way, who, who fed the dragon? Yeah. Is that so like, does, she know, does, he, does she even know this guy? Yeah, I mean, like, like, does like, she know? First of all, that's that's a whole what different are you problem. Wear? Does she know the soldiers <laughs> that fed the dragon? Because maybe there was a love story. That, you never know. So, but then when the guy shows up, who the fuck is that guy? In, exactly, anyway, right? And now she's and just gotta be like, with them. Just fucking kill the dragon. It's not that complicated. So the problem with that, so exactly. So there's a difference between women. Is you get in and it's gonna be push-ups and pull-ups. And here comes the 20 minute seminar about how to do a push up. <laughs> and guys are like, la 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 la. Because they're already gone in their mind, they're so far, so now they start to go like this. They're not rolling your, their eyes at you, mm -hmm. they're just gone. Yeah. They left 15 minutes ago, so they're gone here. There's way too many instructions. 
Yeah. They're so gone by then. And of course, they're like, oh, look, they don't listen to women. They don't listen to anybody. Yeah. They're men. <laughs> yeah. They're already doing the workout. They, all, they need to warm up. Let them fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, Let them fuck true. up. And then once they fuck up, at the end, you go like, told you. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, you're right. Next time. I do, yeah. think, I do think that as, as <laughs> men, we are wired because the way that we progress in anything, yeah. there's a, 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 zero, a risk of catastrophic failure in mm -hmm. everything that we do. It kind of weeds us out. You know yeah. what I mean? We go through everything, and at some point, you might just die. You know what I mean? That's kind of <laughs> the way life works. And we're okay with that. What could that. go wrong, though? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like, and if you go 10%, I make it, 90%, I won't, you go like, 10% chance I make it. If you ever look at this, I, I, if you ever look at the statistics of like jet ski fatalities, it's dudes. It's like, it's, it's always dudes, you know? Yeah. Stupid death, stupid yeah. death, you go on, on internet, there's yeah. literally, because yeah, yeah, I love to use that on YouTube, yeah. like the stupidest death ever, I've yet to see a woman on it. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least she was with a guy yeah. who made yeah. her do some stupid shit and then she died. Yeah. That's why it's stupid, because everybody's like, why would you go with a guy? Yeah. Doing, you know he's fucking stupid. So I think, yeah. but I, but I think there's there is a there is a fear of failure or of even being perceived as failing yeah. in mm -hmm. amongst other people yes. with women that is just not the case with most men. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but if all of this is generalization. No, the badge of honor yeah. is fucking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love it. It's like, did you see how much I fucked up? She's like, dude. You had the balls to go for yeah. it. I mean, yeah. you had the chance in hell. Yeah. I'm like, I don't almost, right? Yeah. And we're like, yeah. Almost <laughs> is the best thing you can tell yeah. to a man. You almost had it, guys. Yeah. We're like, yeah. I almost had it. Yeah. It's 10%. It's all good. I'm doing this. Yeah. You never and know. then women are like, hi, they're like leaving class early because they're like, I hope nobody saw me mess up. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. out of the 99 pull-ups, she missed one. Uh, yeah. And that's yeah. all she's thinking yeah. about. Girls, guys, like, but how one? many women so are not comfortable inside of their own skin, so they don't even trust themselves? Yeah. So we, we want to constantly bring it back to you're not a brain in a jar. You're not a body that has a brain. You're not a heart that sort of is there that the body kind of works and the mind works. Mm -hmm. But bringing it all together and saying, if you are struggling to connect with people, you probably don't feel comfortable inside of your own body. So then when you don't feel so comfortable inside your own body, you walk into a room, you don't feel comfortable even inside yourself. So why would you feel comfortable in a room with full others. of people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then if we can give women the opportunity to start trusting themselves, to reconnect with their body, um, in a way that for some men would be like, it's you know, yeah. it's like what we were. T I was talking about on a call, and Ray gets on the thing, and he's like, okay, we got to get a call. You got to tell me how I tell my girl that she has she has to do the oblique opener because this is what. And I'm like, that that's not as simple as that is, that's right? It's not, not the point. It's not the point. Well, point. the problem is, it also is that simple to to us as, as men. Oh, that, totally. That's our first. She's thing. fucking doing shit. The thing you yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well then, well, we then just, I everyone need to do just it does too. that, and, yeah. and so how many steps? Yeah. It's a, it, it's it's funny that that's a that's a really sensible angle to get to. That's just not how this works. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and and in that instance specifically, that's not just with uh, Ray, coaching we women. Ray, we love you. Yeah, yeah we do. That's not, a great that's not with coaching that's women or men. Yeah. 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 Ray's a great coach. He's a, yeah. Ray's yeah. an awesome coach. Yeah. yeah. We just don't get it. We fall into the same trap. Yeah. I do all the time. Yeah. All the time. I just don't get it. I'm like, why would you not do it? Yeah. Or not do it. Like stop trying to fix it, it's not working. Just move on. Nope, nope, that's not it. I, so think, I, think, I think one of the, the most important things though too when we look at this is it's not really about as a woman coaching you just to get you to do what I want you to do. Correct. Or you as a man coaching me just so that you get me to do what you want me to I just do. Don't wanna, I don't want to just get you through a 60 minute No, yeah. like that's Marriages not it. Marriages don't it's, work like that. <laughs> <laughs> and and quick, like, yes, it is. That's exactly my job. You most, just explained my job to the letter right there. <laughs> yeah. The most, I feel like the most powerful thing that men can do for women and then also vice versa that women can do for men is to like encourage you, for me to encourage you to be a man and for you to encourage me to be a woman, mm -hmm. not encourage me to be some, to like fit in some box as like some crazy athlete or some, but just be like, allow, I I'm gonna be comfortable with you for grunting like an ape and like screaming, like when you mess up or throwing mm -hmm. shit around, like I, I'm okay, I'm not gonna try to be like, Tyler, can you like calm down? Yeah, we have no issue with that. Can, yeah. you, calm, can so, you calm down? Yeah. Or for you to like, if, yes, if I can does not work it, well. <laughs> I don't want to yes, say that. I, I yeah. can't say. Yeah. Why are you crying again? Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. what is I thought you don't say on? that. Yes, yeah, funny. Yeah. Like, or for yeah. me to say, like, Tyler, why are you, why are you getting so angry when you don't? And you'd be like, 
Yeah. What? Like, yeah, what, what, what are, why are you asking me these questions right now? I was angry. <laughs> I, didn't really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just scream like that all the time. What do you mean? Uh, uh, yeah, but just to allow you to express the way that you express mm-hmm. and, but then also to, to like just provide guidance. But in order to do that, I feel like I have to value you as a man, like you just, just men in general, yeah. and you value me as a woman. And to know that like, Men are going to do things unlike women do, and women are going to be freaking complicated sometimes, <laughs> most of the time. They're going to be really I hard to understand. And, <laughs> and so, but that's like, I feel like that's like what's so... It's the beautiful part of humanity. Well, right? how do you, really how do you, how do you take that school. from something maybe you just described as, as what is, we're going to perceive across the aisle as problematic, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you take that from something that's problematic and then and, and move that forward in a way you can use it or, well, it's or let, like work around that reality. Explaining, for example, it. men yeah. get angry, women cry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you can understand that as the same idea, then as a coach, it becomes a lot easier because I ended up coaching so many women. I understood that when at a certain stage where the guys would get pissed, women cry. Once I was there, I was like, okay, mm-hmm. are you done crying? Mm-hmm. Yes, good. Let's go back. Yeah. yeah. And they were fine. As long as I just give them the 30 seconds to express it, cry, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, cool. mm-hmm. then we go back. Yeah. But yeah. then men stop there because for us, it's like, oh, that's it. She broke yeah. down. No, you don't. Yeah. You didn't yeah. break down, right? Yeah. You're just expressing your frustration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, but that, that yeah. They need But it's to hard, too, I think, because mm-hmm. in an environment that's maybe not safe, if a situation does happen like mm-hmm. that, you have a female athlete who just, bad day, whatever, is crying, then they're in a room full of people. Yeah. And then it seems like those whole, that whole situation escalates. And I think mm-hmm. your guys', is the, the program that you have, at least, it does a good enough job to allow those things to happen mm-hmm. and have it not be... A very critical situation or yeah. like a judgmental but situation. Probably because you mm-hmm. take the stigma out of crying. Totally, right? Yeah. If we could just, if we could take it away from it being crying being a weakness mm-hmm. or uh, crying being yeah, like that totally it's, it's weak, yeah. uh, because even like that's a, it's a hard thing for women as well. Like I grew up a kid that I would try to cry, I couldn't cry, mm-hmm. and then I felt ashamed that I couldn't cry. <laughs> And then when I turned 27 or 28, I cried for like a month in a row and I had no idea what was wrong, right? Mm -hmm. So even with what we've been doing in moving forward, uh, I started looking at the physiology of tears. What happens when you do cry and saying, oh my gosh, when you cry, here's actually what's happening in your body. And hey, P.S., your body releases a natural painkiller when you've cried the tears out of your eyes. And people are, are like, wait, oh wait, what? I'm sorry, yeah. what? So basically, it's taking the stigma out of it, yeah. mm-hmm. saying it's a function. Okay, it's not called a, being human. Yeah, so it's not a, a shame thing. Yeah, yeah. so it's, we yeah. go back to humiliation and being shamed. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's mm-hmm. the one thing I would, yeah, is make sure they don't feel shame in your gym. But again, the, the, the common thread I keep hearing as you go through these is more information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, Just right? really helpful tools like, hey, you might not be a really bad person that sucks at making friends. You might have things that happen to you in your life that here's what's happening in your nervous system. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. you don't know how to connect with people because you just don't feel safe. And people then stop and go, I'm not so broken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I might, I'm, I'm wounded, but I don't, I'm not going to be broken forever. Right. And so then, and then we would love to help you connect with your body. That's mm-hmm. yesterday's and podcast. Yeah. Then yeah. if I can help you do that, you can become more aware of your body and then you become aware of, I just walked into a room, I feel like I want to go to the outside of the room, what's going on? Oh, I don't feel safe, why don't I feel, right? And then being able to help people even have their own dialogue with what's actually going on inside of them. Mm -hmm. But as women, we're so disconnected from our bodies because there's so much pressure for it to Mm -hmm. look a certain way or then you get stretch marks and you get cellulite and you get all those things that are not what the magazine says or what you know all that all the, i know yes. it's so, all people that. still i mean yeah. so, I I, we still have to talk about it which is like totally, so totally. It's but it like seems what so crazy that we do doing to women now yeah. is insane we went from be pretty and shut up to be strong and shut up mm-hmm. except now it's be strong and yeah. pretty and then yeah. shut up mm-hmm. yeah. it's insane like we it's just as negative now as it was before like yeah. with all the stuff like this i find the movement to be, if not more sexist than it was before. Yeah. Like women are pigeonholed now into boxes. What now? My biggest problem with it is now you have to be strong. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad yeah. one because then mm-hmm. you can't show emotion. You can't. Exactly. Then women crying is being weak, and yeah. oh, you're gonna get pigeonholed into mm-hmm. some shit that 
touch men all the time, except mm -hmm. we are naturally better equipped for it because mm -hmm. at least we can smack each and other. And women are still disconnected from their bodies, even yeah. though the goal is to just get stronger. Yeah, yeah even now it's worse yeah. because mm -hmm. now you can't even uh, say a workout was hard. It's like all the CrossFit athletes always smiling, always saying, I'm so happy. No one is happy to do more. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> like, you're telling me you train four times today and you're all happy at the end of the day. Your makeup is perfect. You have your hair and you're like, oh, bullshit. Yeah. It's like guys at least have the right now to say, fuck, that sucked. Yeah. But you're a woman now, it, you can't even say that because you have to be strong. I was like, oh, that is even worse than before. Yeah, yeah. That, totally. That's because now you have to totally. be pretty and you can't express that it sucked. Yeah. yeah. Good luck on that one. Yeah. Like, because it, well, and that's what's working. interesting is as a as a person who's coached female athletes, we, we always one of the things that we notice is okay. Well, uh, my my female athletes seem to be more the word I would say is vulnerable, if mm -hmm. you will. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But the problem is they really aren't because mm -hmm. they can't show it. It's even, yes. It's they have to. While that's the way that they're naturally inclined to be, mm -hmm. a little bit, um, they can't express it. You know, mm -hmm. you can't actually be vulnerable yeah. in public as a female. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, uh, on top of it, their image of men, because women think men act a certain way and we don't. Mm -hmm. Like there is that idea what strong, what you guys think strong is for us is not what we think strong is at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have that image of what strong means that isn't true anyway. And then you try to fit that. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to go well. I can tell you that right now. That's why like the whole strong women stuff, I'm like, that's not what we do yeah. at all. Like we don't see strong as that. I always like, well, it's like you know, like eight-hour job. It's like, yeah, you like working. No, no one does. Like you yeah. know, the guy doing an eight-hour mm -hmm. week. No one wants to work at. They want the money. Yeah. But no one wants to work eighty hours a week. So if you think they're enjoying it, you're here for a really hard realization. Yeah. Once you yeah. get in yeah. eighty, and you're gonna go. This sucks. I was like, yeah. Except now you can't say this sucks. Because you think we don't say it. We fucking say it all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's that's a pigeonhole that I find so dangerous for women. Because mm -hmm. now basically what they think strong is, is like smiling and never showing pain during a workout mm -hmm. or never saying a workout is hard and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, are you fucking insane? Yeah. Because either you're not gonna push, and then you see women going, eh all the time because yeah. they can't go there or, or just, they or have just, to yeah, yeah they have yeah. to bottle everything inside mm -hmm. and the level of anxiety is through the roof mm -hmm. but they can't show that either why mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. it's weakness because men don't have anxiety which yeah. is complete bullshit yeah. Yeah. Dude, There's the, you think men don't have dysmorphia like you know the yeah. body issues that yeah. like I want abs still yeah but I want to be strong yeah but how do I get to 235 and keep my abs <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah we yeah. do the exact same shit yeah. but yeah. women think oh, guys don't do that no they do no, they just do. don't say yeah we're not inside bottling up and then we just don't talk about it, but that doesn't mean that's how this works either. Because yeah. I think so from the true. outside, a perception of strength is that it's like just an absence of vulnerability, often. Yes. or at least, yeah. that, or at least yeah. that that's required. Yeah. Totally. And, yes. and so, so that's where it pushes, which fucking stands in your own way the mm -hmm. whole time. Mm -hmm. um, but the difference is we don't feel failure. humiliated yeah. when we miss a workout. Yeah. 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 We don't feel humiliated. We'll go like, fuck it, I'll come back next yeah. week. It's, mm -hmm. it's a fact Or we'll of just life. be mad and blame it on something else. <laughs> yeah, and you take it out next time we show like it's, it's, it's fucking the coach. Like, we love blaming other yeah. guys. It's way easier. Yeah. Yeah. That way the guy says, fuck you. You go like, yeah. yeah. And then it's over. Yeah. But if you start to, with, you add the fear of humiliation to that. Yeah. Oh, and then that you'll end up with women that will never talk about it, yeah. ever. Yeah. They'll have anxiety that's killing them inside, mm -hmm. and on the surface, no, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Yeah. That's oh, what I get with so painful. many women. I'm yeah. fine. So, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, honey, oh. that fake smile is not working. It's not working. Yeah. Now, when was this now? It's almost a year ago now. Mm -hmm. You had, I had you guys come to, to my gym <laughs> in the middle of Aberdeen, South yeah. Dakota. August. In last August year. last yeah. year. To do, essentially, a condensed version of what yeah. you guys do. Yeah. Um, but it was very interesting in, in small town conservative Midwest America <laughs> where I'll be dead honest, not a single person in my life that I know of, have been friends with or related to in that area has ever t said out loud that they go to a therapist, yeah. if you will. Yeah. So Only the idea the of, yeah. of, of anything happening that we're being taught that is about personal development yeah. is one of those things where they're like, oh, Jesus. Hippies. <laughs> Goddamn hippies. Yeah. hippies. They come uh, from Oregon. We're in yeah. Oregon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, so, so it was actually a really, really interesting <laughs> experiment in, in trying to, one, trying to sell it, for one. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's a hard sell. Yeah, and you did a good job, Tony. You did a good job. But it, you know, it, but it, but it took a lot of work to get the right people in the right place. But you get the right people there, who, and you can create a good, a good thing. And that's what yeah. we did. Yeah. Um, but what's interesting is you guys hung around for about four days mm -hmm. after and did mm -hmm. a couple long sessions that yeah. were just 
almost just a class that was yeah. a little more than a class, yeah. like mm -hmm. a 90-minute thing. But what I could see, it's like the, the selling, cold selling, blindly trying to sell mm -hmm. that is hard in a place like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. But once any of them had really experienced mm -hmm. the opportunity to be to be open and to do the work and to actually think about these things the way that you guys teach them, all of a sudden everybody was talking. Mm -hmm. And by the end, the 10 or 15 people that we had over the weekend turned into practically 40 throughout the the end of the week mm -hmm. and they wanted to do an online group and now they online. have yeah, they yeah they, you and now they've got their own thing going and yeah. they've kind of got their own yeah, thing going incredible. Here, which is which is great but that the experience almost has to come first because yes. it's hard to describe it also yeah. shows you that no matter what it's about humans yeah yes. like yeah. no matter how much we're trying to make it into a system and you just have to do the workout and everything it never is that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well even stepping into uh we got invited to into crossfit hardenberg yesterday yeah. And we're kind of, you know, him and hawing around, okay, Dutch culture. Northern, Dutch culture, yeah, yeah. Which is like, like two miles than, from, yeah, yeah. two miles from Germany. And so we're kind of the thinking, oh boy, okay. Nobody even smiles. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Nobody shows anything. I yeah. know, I'm like, uh, yeah. what's going to end? And, and this is even called a, a smile. Like, try. <laughs> yeah. Just your, you've seen a joke here, try that. Yeah. 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 So we went there yesterday. You know, the ladies come in, they're so nervous. They have, again, no idea what they're oh. what they're doing other than their friends said, you should do And there's about three of them that don't really speak great English. And they're so. like, oh, these girls are here from America. We should, you know, that's what, that was part of what this she said. They're here from point. America. Yeah. So, so, they're like, oh, yeah. 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 They came from yeah. a long ways away, so let's do it. But, and so for us, even culturally, we're going, okay, so, because you had said, well, this is how my town works. And then, so then we come in here and we're, we're thinking, okay, we've been here for a month, kind of seen how culture works. Is this, what we do, is this gonna be too much? Will it be, are we gonna have to like try to be something that we're not? We show up, mm -hmm. Chantel starts talking and within 30 seconds of her talking, three women's eyes are welling up with tears. Within 10 minutes, one lady has got Kleenex and she's, because we're talking about being more human. Or because we all giving, have the same human experience. Giving even what you were saying with, you know, reflecting even like thinking back on like, okay, we had those women come in. Mm -hmm. They all sat down. They were a stellar group of women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we started talking and you could tell that there was like a hesitation of like actually accepting the invitation to like really just be real with yeah. like what's going on in your life what's going on in your marriage and not like it's not not a bitch session yeah. you know not yeah. like oh <laughs> like you know this is what's happening in my marriage oh this is my husband too and blah, blah, all like yeah. the stuff that is typical where it's like no let's actually talk about like why like the sadness let's talk about like your worries let's talk about your fears for your children for your husband yeah, for let's you. Talk about you and yeah. the others yeah. let's the other like really thing. talk about it let's talk about like what happened when you disconnected from your mom when you were younger or when your parents used to fight mm -hmm. like what happened in your heart and how did that affect your marriage and like but people don't talk about that yeah, because no. there's like this this fear of like if i start talking about really what's real then you are going to think of me differently but it's or it's, you're going to expose me yeah, yeah. but there yeah. used to be that in yeah. tribes there used to be this there used to be shamans there used to be elders there used mm -hmm. to be a place for this to happen mm -hmm. because yeah. nobody was of the understanding that they had to let people believe that life or marriage or raising kids or everything was easy mm -hmm. yeah you know what i mean yeah. now so it's supposed you, to be now that shit's supposed to be easy for you or else oh, you're it's supposed to up. work at least yeah or, or else you like up. you yeah. just like you just peace like, out what are you like not the good second at it? it starts yeah. to get hard you're like oh my gosh you mean like you, you don't enjoy having kids all the time <laughs> what's wrong with you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're taking you too many kids? drugs. Yeah, yeah. 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 You don't have drinks, or you're taking way too many drugs because yeah. of them. But it's one or the other. Like yeah. it is not good all the time. But, but you so get I women see that everybody laughs because they never they can't say yeah. it that loud. Yeah. 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 And you get women in a room, and somebody says something because they're the the most courageous one yeah. in the room. Yeah. That's like I'm gonna say this, and then they do, and then everybody else goes. Me too. You know what women need to say? I don't like my kids. At least not half the time. I yeah. you'll be surprised. We have a really we have a really intense conversation uh, in camp, uh, which I, we usually preface with. You're gonna look at us and be like, "Well, you don't have kids, so you don't know what we're talking about." Except for we've had 800 women come through in the last four and a half years. <laughs> and and they're all struggling the in yeah, the same yeah. way about yeah. the 
the nobility, of, I mean, and it could be everywhere, but in America, of what it is to be haggard, tired, give every part of yourself away because that's the best thing Bullshit. that you could ever do no. No, because it's you're not. a bad you mom. You make the kids and you're feel like, guilty about it yeah. anyway. Yeah. 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 And so being no, able to no. give women permission by to the way, take care of themselves and they're not a bad mom for... to say that they don't like the kids all the time. <laughs> Everything, yeah. you don't understand. Every time I see that seminar, I have four women going... <laughs> they're laughing because they, they know exactly what I'm talking about, but they can't show it, so they're like... <laughs> but inside they're like, thank you! <laughs> because those fucking things are hell half the time. Yeah. They fucking, like their brain don't work. Yeah. Their brain, that, that's a fact, right? And half the time you're kind of going like, if I could smack you right now, I would, but there's witnesses, so I won't do it, but... Fuck. you By you saying that, you give them permission to actually be like, okay. And the same, it, it, you know, that's why it, yeah, yeah, laughs at it because it, I say it all the time. And so it's it's the same yeah. thing. Like when we're in a room and when we talk about things in our life, even as women, or things that we've heard or seen, and we tell stories where we're like, "This is actually like how I feel," and they're like, "Holy shit, I feel the same way." But you and, know why yeah, yeah, likes it because then she knows I'm happy to be with her. Because when I'm not, I tell her. Yeah. It's like stop being a fucking moron. <laughs> like, oh, that's so mean. But it's like, yeah, okay, so clean up your actions. I don't say it like that. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Might be well, some we'll comments see. on that. Uh, like, let's, <laughs> let's, yeah, yeah, we may need to talk about this real quick. I'm not upset so many words. That's not really I probably what you need to say to your teenage daughter. daughter. Yeah. No, I don't, we're not allowed to say retard anymore, so I can use still moron. It's te- <laughs> moronical technically is a medical condition. Um, <laughs> see, it is actually. Um, anyway, but, but because she knows that when I'm mad, that means I don't agree with something. That means the rest of the time, I'm cool with her. Mm-hmm. If you never show, if you're always like this, how would they know the difference? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Or communication and relationship. Like you have relationship yeah. with your children. You're not obligated, just like kids aren't obligated to love their parents or necessarily agree with the their time. parents all the time. And so it's like, what do you do? Yeah, even... also, because we don't let the kids, like especially girls expressing anger. Mm-hmm. You're never allowed to do that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, you don't have to agree with me. You just have to do the shit I tell you to do. Yeah. And then, so, yeah, well. It's true. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how true. it works. I'm not yeah. your friend. Instead of you have to agree with me, shut up. Yes, exactly. You can't feel anything. That's the, exactly, yeah. that's angry. the problem. Yeah. I was like, yeah. no, of course you're not going to agree, but you're still not going to wear that blouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good Good job, Oprah, Good dad. Like 10 years from now and uh, yeah. but in the meantime you're not wearing that <laughs> yeah. and then after she was like you were right and like, yeah, yeah. yeah no shit <laughs> yeah that's because you're jo- yeah so yeah. that's a, that's a huge problem that like, if you start yeah. blocking this like yeah. uh, see, but okay so and guys are like yeah but I run a CrossFit class yeah, yeah so they are yeah, lost so now, what, but, what do yeah, I but we're going yeah. back to you creating a safe place yeah mm-hmm. where they don't have to be someone they're not yeah. Right, and the fear of, of humiliation in women, I think that has to be brought forward far more mm-hmm. often with male coaches because I don't think they get that one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I know I, I, I think, and I, be, and I, I think, have a daughter, so I get it better. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. uh, and I think that piece is the one piece that I think can be universally applied. Yes. Right, because I think when we talk about say all of the background educating that you guys do, I don't know how I would integrate that fully mm-hmm. into my. CrossFit gym. No, because yeah. they're, they're, they're so much. good at what they do, you're not, you yeah. guys are not going to do what they do. So. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so what I think is important to know is that there are, you have to just be aware of these mm-hmm. processes and that you can't just replicate what you guys do. No. Because yeah. you guys are attached, we've talked about this a lot, that the, the way your system works is that so much of it is attached to you guys yes. mm-hmm. and the things that you do. That's you. Um, it is you. So, but that's why it's be. effective because that's where trust comes As from. As it should be. Mm-hmm. Meaning, anyway, if I prop yeah. somebody up in a Camp 17 shirt and they start saying the words, mm-hmm. it's just not going to work. Yeah. But it's like with Strong Fit, it's just there's principles that we are helping women yeah. buy and they take the rest of that into their mm-hmm. life. But I want to come back to something, just the, this conversation about humiliation, because this actually uh, was a really big, it was a few years ago, and I was talking to a friend of mine and she said, So basically, you've lived your life performing out of the fear of humiliation. And I was like, oh, oh. Which is what a lot of crossfitters Well, and so, yeah. Yeah. So then what happens is if we want to talk about why people are struggling with outcome and needing outcome, needing a score, needing to know what they did, needing to know where they were on the board, is because they are performing out of the fear Mm -hmm. of because their value, their worth, who they are as a woman, who they are as a man, who they are as a human, when we spend enough time basing our worth and value on a score, mm-hmm. on what happened on the board, mm-hmm. where you stand in yeah. the gym, it's it's the same 
thing of I'm going to cheat my reps yeah. because I'm f afraid of not being the best one. Because if I'm not the best one, then I myself as a human am not as, as yeah. worthy no, no, and as valuable. Is, yeah. yeah. And so my value and my worth as a, as a human, as a man, as a woman in the world, it's not about the gym. It's about... Mm -hmm. But that's why you there. see them losing their shit on the open, during mm -hmm. the open, uh, cheating the workouts yeah. or putting fake scores and everything, because that's how they gauge themselves is yeah. the number in the world. That is without I talk about but I see to you. anxiety. Yeah, well, I see like you. My, I don't want to hurt you. You're safe. Come in here and you are you, you are loved yeah. and you are worth it and you are valued in here all the time. As no a member what. of a community, totally. not based on the CrossFit yeah. workout. That mm -hmm. was always my problem with the white ball. Yeah. Well, that's an issue with the like the scorekeeping with yeah. the like we talk about exploration versus exploitation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're just testing yourself all the time, mm -hmm. but not for your own sake even. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. you're testing no. yourself like against the humiliation yeah. of everybody else in the room and Instagram mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Or how many yeah. people are coming from Orange Theory being so stressed out yeah. that they didn't burn as many calories as their friend next to them, or they weren't in in their yeah, range the enough yeah. mm -hmm. it's still that like that, oh this is what happened this is what happened this is what happened and that's that oh. a lot of the, the coaches out there are like yeah that's my client yeah like yeah but i didn't do 500. Yeah. like that's the shit male coaches don't know how to deal with yeah like they truly they, they have people doing that but i'm i'm not at 500 calories and they don't know mm -hmm. how to answer because they don't know where it comes from yeah they have to so they have to understand that it comes out of a place of if i don't get the 500 I'm worth nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That that is and that see that's the shit like that that the coaches need to know because they don't understand the behavior. Mm -hmm. Like I'm looking at someone looking at calories, I'm like, take the two seconds mm -hmm. that you just spent on looking at your watch and do another fucking rep. Because I'm yeah. in the back whacking people going, that's yeah. not what I said. Yeah. Because I don't understand that if it's not reaching five hundred. Yeah. You just wanna walk by and say, You're enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what comes to my mind when I see that. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I have to be But ultimately, my... that's what they're wondering. I swear to God. Oh they won't tell God. you that out loud. Any, any of our men, male coaches out there, do not fucking try that. <laughs> if you Don't think you're enough, <laughs> if he works, that's a you tell guys, me. That's a you I guys know, totally. thing. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 a, that's a little chat. I think thing. if I do it, people are, are going to literally go, what's wrong with you? I think you're better off whispering, taste the rainbow. <laughs> you know? um, this is like a drug, so that might well be, well, yeah. No, but like, by the way, the Instagram and all that stuff, then that must drive women fucking insane, though, mm -hmm. right? Because you're never good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's Photoshop, it's it's mm -hmm. all that stuff. Like we are introducing, like you, you want like the one part with CrossFit that worried me was that was the dark. I saw a darkness rising in the behavior of women against women within CrossFit, in because they look. Uh, they look so beautiful in CrossFit. Right? That's what always surprised me. That's why I think CrossFit has changed the way we'll train women forever. Because it has changed the way women look at themselves. Like yeah. I'm at the CrossFit Games, and a, a month before, I'm at the LA Convention Center. You know, the fitness mm -hmm. convention center, because they have the strongman competition then, and mm -hmm. a lot of my friends are competing, so I go, and, and you, you see those fitness models that are, you know, mm -hmm. very pretty, but mostly orange. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see uh, a lot of them, like, <laughs> uh, but I see a lot of them that are kind of skinny fat, you know, like the, the skin is super loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you go like, huh, that's weird. Like the muscles are not round. Not mm -hmm. full, they, yeah. they, They're pretty, but they, you, you feel like if you go like this, you <laughs> everywhere, not in a good way. And then you go to the to the CrossFit Games, and I'm like, what the fuck? First of all, I've never seen so many six packs in my life. Yeah. I was over there, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna keep my shirt on. <laughs> uh, and all the women are, look a lot better than the fitness model that I saw a month before, right? And so I was like, okay, so it's working, it's great, and everything. And then I started to see from training a lot of CrossFit Games athletes and all the women in the back, a, a darkness rising of that constant need to look beautiful and strong. And I'm like, okay, but you're going to have to explain to me what the measurement is and what, sorry, that's the quantum mechanics thing. Yeah, talking, yeah, but yeah. Uh, what you call a measurement and what strong and beautiful means. Because mm -hmm. you're gorgeous anyway, but now it's not enough. You have to be not showing pain. That's a strong mm -hmm. part. And you have to be like always pretty and always smiling. What kills me the most is those women smiling all the time on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bullshit. Do you see guys smiling all the time on Instagram? <laughs> They're always grunting and dying, and that's why we're like, yeah! If you had a guy going like, I'm like, you fucking goose, go back, do another set. Because you, you should that. not be you smiling that like that. I had, another, that. I had another word in mind that worse, 
but uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I see that guy going on the yoga going like this, I'm like, fuck you. Put a hundred more pounds on that. That face is going to look <laughs> ugly in the next three seconds. Unless you look like you're about, your eyes yeah. are going to fall off and you have to pick them yeah. back up and put them back yeah. in. You're not doing a yoga carry. Yeah. Yeah. But yet, women are being held to a different standard by themselves mm -hmm. for that. Oh, yeah. that is a dangerous yeah. thing. Yeah. Or I don't want to look too win. intense yes. in trying that's, to... That's yeah. crazy to me. The, yes. the, the, the fear of actual... This is the problem is I see a fear of actually getting strong. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. how often yeah. do people? You, you can't smile and, and get stronger. And at it's the same about time. that. It's about the impression that other people are going mm -hmm. to get. It's like, well, if I put another plate on, it's more than any of these other ladies have mm -hmm. on. And now, am I going to be the brute in mm -hmm. the room? Is that? And by the way, so yeah. what's the whole fear with like I can't look too intense because I see that all the time. Where is that coming from? Well, you look at culture, and you know, if a woman's too bossy, she's bitchy, right? I mean, if she knows where she's going and what she's doing, she's bitchy. If she's too intense, she's bitchy. If she's if uh, an intense not, look on there is like, ah, oh, you're so angry, us, and you're, yeah, I know. Yeah. That's to other women. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but do you know how many? Okay, so here's a here's the thing, guys, and uh, some women will say this to you. So this might just be coming from me, yeah. but the amount of people in my life that are like, oh, you're such a beast. I usually want to crawl under the table because no woman wants to be. Well, okay, I'm not. Again, I'm not saying all women because some women are like, I would love. To be called a beast, and they're the yes. little skinny ones. But, but that, I was like, the little skinny ones. Oh, beast! You're like, this is like, what like, we call fucking wind, though. <laughs> I know. But oh. See, like, I was, I was the girl in school that the the kids would make fun of me because I had like a calf muscle and a shoulder, and they'd be like, exactly. What is that? So I wasn't the like, back kid. And I was the skinny one. That's what I would do. I, I always had biceps. Right? I, I know. know. But oh then you come back to you come back to what you were you told. As a child, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, you're so intense, and then yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but that that word makes me want to crawl under a table too because I've heard it forever. I'm like, I don't want to be intense. I want to be beautiful. I want to be silly. I want to be fun. But we don't say that shit. Yeah, oh. but I, I, this but that was we can't win. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship. Like, there's, not, Relationship. A, there's not a lot. There's 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 these like there's certain ones. Like there's some women that want to be called a beast. Like, don't call the them. One that I'll know. Don't call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, right. That's, so that's watch body right type. Yeah. True. Yeah. Look at their body type. See where they want to go, and then speak to that. Yeah. Right. Um, but therein lies the the complication or the confusion or yes. like the. Uh, so can, you, can, is, can you fucking give me a nap with like all the bullet points? And I'm like, so. So uh, here we go. Question A is, and then by the 67th, uh, maybe I'll be able to have a conversation <laughs> with you. But it is, it is, it is funny because you mentioned that, and it's like those are words that wouldn't even consider. I wouldn't even consider to be. Just, just conversationally. Yeah. Like, oh, she, yeah, she's a fucking beast. Yeah. I see that through that one. Like, yeah, that's a compliment yeah. normally, and, and it doesn't mean anything me beyond performance. But, but those are the okay, traps good. that yeah. male coaches or men in yeah. general always are. They, like at risk of just walking right into and having no fucking idea that we yeah. are saying something that yeah. maybe packs a greater yeah. punch than mm -hmm. what we but no, yeah. Now we you intend. see why men have a bewildered look on their face all the time because they just talk to a woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why. And they go, what the, fuck, what the fuck just happened? That's why we look like that all the time, right? Because we've been conditioned, us too, very early on, yeah. to go and like, that's why when I don't mean, understand what's happening. Around, we're like, did they even hear me? Did they even understand what no, I'm saying? No, because I don't even think his brain like, just like, froze, because yeah. he's like, what the fuck just happened? He's, like, so, <laughs> he's fucking like stuck 10 minutes time. ago when you had said something, and he went, what? Uh, yeah. And now he's gone. Uh, now his yeah. brain is like, what just happened? Yeah. That difference yeah. used to actually get really be really maddening to me, because yeah. I viewed the extremes on both sides as socially disrespectful yeah. mm -hmm. as in you're paying someone to coach you and okay I'm gonna explain to you for about three minutes what <clears throat> the next 45 minutes is going to be that's it boom 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 and the men are often just like Julian says not paying attention doing it all wrong and I'm like you and so then when I when they're doing it wrong afterwards I'm like remember those things that I fucking said that you didn't listen to it would, it would piss me off yeah. whereas then whereas then the women would watch and intently pay attention to every single word and catch all <laughs> of it that's why I like coaching women and probably. yet yeah. there'd be a line of about three of them that would want me to before it started to just explain the same exact thing to them yeah, yeah. yeah. okay now you get it that's why you guys are laughing because you the same. and this yeah. is me explaining it to you and and it didn't matter and if and I explained it to you and you it wouldn't yeah, matter yeah, it you now need your moment yes. and you need your moment yeah. yeah and and that also I'm like I'm like you just I just did, and there's nothing I hate more than doing something twice. Especially yeah. if I'm gonna do it, better be a reason. And that, to me, <laughs> from a from time, a function purpose, yeah. is I'm just like, 
This is a fuck really we're a inefficient time. process. Are you yeah. talking to me right yeah, now? Like, this is, like, this uh, is like uh, we're gonna fuck with Tyler all day. Is this that is what energy is? that is just I'm never gonna get back that you've taken from me. <laughs> And now I'm mad. And now I'm pissed. Yeah, and that's, that's, that thing. And that's like, as simple as why explaining. Why are you fucking with me right now? Yeah, yeah. That's as yeah. simple as explaining fucking a pull yeah. up and push up workout. The and, same and, shit. and I'm just be like, and but after you we, heard me after you, say it, after you good. came out with like the, the dragon yeah. analogy, I was like, I was like, oh, okay. So I just had to stop viewing it as something that was happening to me, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. if you will, mm -hmm. uh, or around me, and view it as just the way that things are. Mm -hmm. yep. And so yeah. when you accept that, you have an understanding, okay, you're gonna say she's a beast and she's not gonna like it, it doesn't matter. She's not irrational. Mm -hmm. It's just the way things are. Well, okay, let's yeah. not go that far. Okay, we'll yeah. go. But, uh, yeah. but, <laughs> but, but I'm saying that's just me. There's yeah. a lot of no, women who are loved. But that's beast. exactly it, right? Yeah. Like if you say it and you, then you maybe yeah. aren't yeah. thrilled I'm to get them, yeah. Yeah. about it, I can't be like, well, fucking, what's her fucking problem? Yeah. You know? Because so, it means a good thing. That's what yeah. I said. It was a compliment. Yeah. You know, and she's and mad you, at me. you get to the point, too, where then, like, you know, with people when you build relationship and you build trust, where then if you have the same three women that are lining up, every class to say the same thing but yet there's the relationship or ask you to repeat the same mm -hmm. thing the relationship is built to where then there's a certain point where you're like hey you know I what I understand what you're doing I understand this is okay like do you want that yeah we, do you want we, the attention yeah but we, do, we don't need to yeah. we don't need to keep doing this but or we you, don't need you to don't, do it not that you don't have thing. the authority but they're yeah. not going to listen to you if you say that the very first time no yeah. if, sure. if they listen to it and then they come up to you and they're like hey you're like I already said it Look you, at the board. You were looking me at the eyes the and whole time. And they're like, oh, I don't trust you because <laughs> yeah. while you were explaining it, like you don't, like the mind of even a man or a woman, the mind, the mind of a man is like, how much weight am I going to do? And the woman's like, oh my gosh, can I do this? Are mm -hmm. people and watching? So they're, yeah. Uh, or where can I be in the gym? Like I got to get my spot so nobody sees me. I have to have my back because I'm wearing those tight pants. That <laughs> and I'm so wearing like pink exhausting. pants. Like Jesus all these Christ. things. Like it's what happens. That's why you have polymer lifting. Because you spend all your energy on the other shit. Yeah. But then you oh look God. at it and it's like some, some women are are like that but then if it's like okay Tyler if Tyler spent like two classes three classes with like repeating it to me then I become comfortable and then I mm -hmm. give him the authority to be like okay Chantel so then the next time is yeah. where we say yeah. listen I understand what you're doing if you want more attention with this thing that's fine but I can't give it to you with every workout yeah meaning if there's something you want to work on we can work on that yeah. but right now I'm just, you're just wasting you know, my time. Yeah. You know, go find your spot and I'll come to you and explain it there. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Listen, once the clock's running, I'll come by and get you up to speed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's yeah. just like us even like if we were to coach um, or like give you, make sure that you're doing this, make sure that you're doing this, like you guys are just saying like let them mess up. Man, but then, fuck yeah. Yeah, but then when it comes back and they've like, they've hurt themselves over and over again, you're like, hey, Yes, no, exactly. you need to listen to what's going on. If yeah. you don't, you're going to hurt yourself like you did the last five times you were here. And men mm. will love that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Men love that. Okay. Yeah, because they're like, yeah, you're right. So but I if think we didn't let you mess up that exactly. many times, you wouldn't listen to us. Ever. Ever. No, but it's not to, uh, to you. It's, it's to, like to anybody. <laughs> anybody. <laughs> don't think exactly. they're not yeah, sexist. Yeah. They're men. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah. Every time they're like, they're not listening to me. They're not listening to me either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not listening. It's not a it's so person true. problem. It's so it's true. Them. So they're like, well, he's not listening to me. Honey, the walls are built. It's, you're not going through right now. You or anybody else. It's just let them fuck up and then maybe by the sixth time, you can say something. Yeah. Because if, yes. if you walk yes. up to a man who hasn't experienced basically both sides of the thing that you're trying to tell him to do uh, and tell him something, he's going to be like, okay, but until I try this way that I might think mm -hmm. is better and yeah. find out that mm -hmm. I'm wrong, no. yeah. I'm not going to believe you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all so they have I think, to be smacked down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Which so is think, what I do on a regular basis. It's like, dude, fuck off. That, and yeah. that's, it's like, you don't get, leave the group, go somewhere else. Oh, sorry. I'm like, yeah, you're not going to talk to me like this. So this is not his work. This is my place. And they're like, okay. But it's yeah. either that or they have to fuck up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I, yeah. women can't do option A. So I would let them fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Men need to be armed with, with, experience positive or yeah. negative before you can coach them they yeah. need to have gone through it and then you can explain it after the or fact. they blindly follow but yeah. it's one or the other it's yeah. either the army or you let them fuck up mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. but if yeah. it's the army that means you have to smack them down that means you have to carry a fucking big stick well, we are <laughs> we are at overtime today oh, sorry no no oh, that was yeah good. geez yes get it together guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh but we do have to get going here pretty soon so 
Um, how can people get a Camp 17 is at Camp 17 on Instagram? Yes, Camp.17. Camp.17. Camp. Camp. Yeah. Online, uh, our website is camp-17.com because ah, there's some old hunters. Total lack of continuity. Uh, yeah. I know. This Go is to Instagram. Old, old hunters. <laughs> they, have a, exactly. they, have a, they have their own thing. So, <laughs> So yeah, all of our all of our stuff there. Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. We're doing our first two weeks after we get home from this trip. Uh, we're doing our first uh, six weeks of Camp Seventeen uh, in one week at our place. So basically, yeah, being gym. able to open new ourselves up to the mm -hmm. world new so gym. people can come yep. here to or to us. New gym, yeah. new gym, yep. new place. So people are actually allowed to. So they don't have to do the six week six version. Weeks, yeah. They can mm -hmm. come there and just. Post Doing up for one six week. Weeks, one for week. in one Ooh. week. Seven days, twenty four yeah, seven. It's like forty hours. Oh. Maybe forty take, hours it, of us. And maybe oh. take like the next week off when you <laughs> yeah. get back home. From your but, life. But so often we get moms that come to camp <laughs> and then they go they have to go they go right home to the kids, mm -hmm. to dinner, to doing the rest of the day. So we were like, Well, if we could get one week of ladies that can yeah. go so and just come yeah. and absorb and be there for for themselves. Uh, this could be really, really cool. Yeah. So uh, we have the first one scheduled in July, and then uh, yeah, while we were fall. here, uh, a bunch of girls were like, blah, blah, blah. We're like, September 29th through October yeah. 5th. We have another there one. So <laughs> oh, Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oregon awesome. is beautiful, so at least. It is very beautiful. Like a, and that'll yeah. be a very anyway. good time of year. July yeah. will be real hot, but September and October will be beautiful. So. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. for sure. Well, that's where they're at. Julian's at StrongFit1 on Instagram. And Julian'sCorner.com. And Julian'sCorner.com. We got StrongFit.com. Okay. StrongFitEquipment.com. StrongFitEquipment.eu. Tyler's running out of things to say. Yeah. Manta Fitness in Australia. What else? What else, Kayla? Did I get it all? We're running out of coffee if anyone wants to buy it. We are running out of coffee. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, there coffee, we go. Bring it back. Yeah, 42 exactly. E Francisca Street, Futhrec 30. Exactly. What's the... No, wait. Okay, but don't send it from a company. <laughs> otherwise, we have to pay... The taxes on it. Oh yeah, yeah. If you mail send me it something oh, really? like if you send me something in the US, you have to mail it under your okay, name. He's looking at us. I know. Like you coffee. So don't, yeah. so, don't yeah. so don't order it on a website and have it shipped yes, here. Yes, exactly. Buy it and then mail it here. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, okay. I pay okay. I pay twenty one percent on it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. And if it's good, it ends up in that drawer behind us. This says, it says Julian's, Julian's don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, but so that people know that I will be drinking it. So yeah. it's not wasted. Yeah. There, there we go. go. There we go. The other day, uh, Kayla has her decaf coffee out here. So the grinder is only like single doses in at a time. But there was a little in there. I'm like, what is this? And he was like, it's decaf. And I'm like, fuck. I'm looking and there's no other regular coffee. He's like, oh, you can use mine. I'm like, not according to that fucking door yeah, that exactly. you wrote all over. It was like my, my in red. And the, the amount of times I've been accused of stealing things. That, is a, that, is, so. that means to me, Tyler, Rightfully so. don't steal don't anything out of here. No, no, no. <laughs> this is not what happened. I had literally specialty coffee. Yeah. Right? That was during the... When was it? We had, we had like, a nervous system workshop yeah, and another thing. With before. all the interns there. And, yeah. and I come back and I had not touched one and everything is gone. Oh, I was no. like, and that was good. Fuckers. That was really yeah. good coffee. No, they didn't even do it. They just plug it and put too much water in it and the fucking espresso is that big. And I'm like, and you use my coffee for that shit? <laughs> oh, I was so pissed. That's when they fucking spilled the beers downstairs. Oh, yes. That was, uh, yeah, that was a seminar. Yep. Seminar and coaches. Uh, speak. Mm, I was like, you're all going to pay for that <laughs> so badly. I'll make up some fucked up workout. And, oh. <laughs> So now it's my coffee. That's, That's all. right. There you Julian's go. coffee. Yeah. So, so well, he was wondering why I didn't just want yeah. to grab the ones out of exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> no, you're so, allowed. They're allowed. I'm allowed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That'll do it. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks and we'll for having see us. you next Bye, week. Everybody. Yeah.